So I'm now going to be cleaning out the filter, um, which will help keep the water cleaner. As we know, water parameters are very important for these tadpoles. So I'll start off by coming up here and turning off all the electrical appliances in here. So there's three that are running in here, which is the filter, the water heater, and the oxygenator. So I'll go ahead and turn those off. You see nothing's running now. So we've got the water here, which we took out of the tank. What we're going to do the water change. Um, so we'll go ahead and if you want to get in here and let's take a look at this. We're taking the pump out, suctioned onto the side of the tub. So this is what the filter looks like. If we take this off here, you can see it separates in two and the sponge is in there. That can kind of just rest there for a second. So we take this. But any excess water, and you can already see some of the waste coming out. This sponge then comes out, and that's what the water is pulled through to filter out some of the waste. So we put that to the side for a second. Now, if you film this in here, see what we're going to do is give this good kind of just kind of a scrub with your hands, it's getting some of that waste off. And it's important to do it in the tank water to keep some of that beneficial bacteria in there and not go. Too full on. So as you can see, our sponge has been a bit clean now. Put that to one side. Another step I like to do is get an old toothbrush and put it in here. And I'll scrub some of that waste that's been pulled onto the mesh there. Just give it a quick clean. Just all around. Back here. Most of this is brown algae. Uh, some of the waste is pulled through, but most of it gets filled out by the sponge. Give it a quick clean inside, a quick rinse, and put the sponge back in, put it back onto the filter and then submerge it under the water. If you want to come around here, it kind of sucks back onto the side, let some of the air escape. Now any, it's really important that any spilt water clean up to avoid any spillages. Any slip, any slipping. Dry my hands, and then we'll turn the appliances back on. And uh, yeah, that's how you clean up the filter.